Hey, it's Danielle from Wendell Woodworks. Last week I posted a video called The Beginner's Guide to the Pegasus Scroll Saw. And so this week I wanted to post a practical beginner level scroll saw project that anyone starting out can do but still feel accomplished. Puzzle coasters. I'm currently in need of coasters, so I wanted to pick something that anyone starting out can do. And you can find the template for these in the description below. You can print them off either through the Google Doc form, or if you have a Cricut like I do, you can print them off following that link and create your own stencils. First, we need to select some wood. There's a lot of flexibility here, but I'd recommend picking a real wood and not a plywood, and something in between a quarter inch to three quarter inch of thickness. I like to use Reclaimed, so after searching through my pile, I found a great piece of oak that was seven inches wide. For this reason, I made my template seven by seven, and I think this is a great size for creating four coasters. After cutting it to the seven by seven size, I attached a vinyl template that I created with my Cricut, but you can just as easily attach the paper pattern with some painter's tape and some spray adhesive. Because I was using a thick oak, I selected a number seven modified geometry blade from Pegas and cut out my pieces. Afterward, I gave them a good sanding with my orbital with a 250 grit. If you want to get them even smoother, you can go over it again with a higher grit. If you want to end the project here, all you're going to need to do is add a polyurethane to give it a durable finish that'll withstand your hot mugs and your spilled water. And because I'm always short on time, I love the ease of a spray polyurethane, so I'll throw that in the description below. I, however, want to finish mine with a stain first, so I'm going to use just an American Walnut stain on it. And then before, oh, looks like that was already leaking. <laughs> Ah, before I put the finish on it, I'm going to show you how to wood burn a special pattern onto it using the wood scorch pen. Yeah, this is why you should always tighten your lids tightly before you put them away. So if you want to add something special to your coasters, there are a lot of possibilities here. I considered doing a photo ink transfer with the hodgepodge method. That's a good technique um, if you want to try it. Or you could wood burn individual names into each piece. Ultimately though, I decided it would be fun to have a design that'll still look good even if all the pieces are separated out. So I created a flower stencil on my Cricut and that's in the link below as well if you want to use it. I'm going to stick this on here and then I'm going to use the wood scorch pen to color it in. It's like wood burning with the stencil, so after I apply a heat gun to it, it'll burn that into the wood. Hopefully it turns out well, and then I'll finish it off with the polyurethane. I found that a key to this wood scorch pen is to make sure that the ink isn't coming out too quickly. It should just be looking like this on a piece of paper, and this is a chemical that's going to burn the wood once it's done. I'm going to go over the stencil and fill it all in. And now it's time for the fun part and the moment of truth. Here comes a heat gun. So that's it after the initial pass through. I think I might go over it just a couple more times in certain areas that I may have forgotten or I didn't go as heavy handed. But I think it's gonna look really pretty. Well, I hope this was a fun project for you guys or just a good way to get you comfortable using a scroll saw. If you wanna find more patterns and more tutorials coming your way, please subscribe below. Thanks for watching you guys and happy scrolling.